Hello, and welcome to another Story Explained video. In this one, we'll be looking at the short horror game Silver Chains. The format in this one will be a little bit different as the game is so short. Set in a rundown, rotting manor, our protagonist, named Peter, seeks refuge in the manor after crashing his car. It's clear that the protagonist has no idea why exactly he is there. He's suffering a loss of vision and dizziness and eventually passes out. He wakes up in what seems to be a child's bedroom in the house. After exploring for a little while, Peter figures that this house, even though it's run down, shows signs of being lived in recently. Strange things start happening such as seeing what appear to be ghosts or spirits of young children. Peter realises that he needs to escape. As he tries to find a way out, he slowly realises that this house is more familiar to him than he thought. But one of the children seems to know him. Quite why Peter has lost these memories of his childhood is not known, but anyway. Peter finds notes around the manor which give him the ability to piece together what happened in the years before he turned up. The previous residents of the house were a family of four. Obviously quite wealthy, this family hired maids. The husband, Henry Manning, had recently returned on the 17th of August 1900 from what could be a trip overseas. His wife Evelyn and kids Ellie and Timmy are happy to see him, he even bought them back gifts. Specifically a small doll. But something is off about Henry. Evelyn, the writer of these journals, stated that Henry didn't seem very well, but she just put it down to him being tired from his travels and drew him a bath. Four days later, Henry is dead. Over the next week or so, Evelyn deteriorates, contemplating suicide. She locks herself away and the maids, becoming increasingly worried, call a doctor who prescribes her medication to take in order to help her deal with the grief of losing her husband. The doctor recommended a friend to take care of the children, a nanny called Tamsin. The youngest child, Timmy, is constantly asking Evelyn where the father is, as he's too young to understand what happened. And the eldest, Ellie, has locked herself away in her room. Turns out they had a friend who tried to play with them, the nanny's son. That's right, our protagonist, Peter, was Nanny Tamsin's son, who spent a lot of time at the manor house, but somehow forgot this. Tamsin mentioned to Evelyn that Ellie has been acting strangely and spending a lot of time in her room. All she ever does is play with the doll that her father bought back for her. Evelyn decided to go and speak to Ellie, but she is shocked by what she finds. She hears another voice. Not only that, but this voice is also talking to Ellie. It's the doll, which strangely looks straight at Evelyn. Evelyn grabbed her daughter and tried to talk to her, but Ellie was emotionless. Evelyn describes herself as being hysterical. The maids called the doctor, but the doctor assumed that Evelyn was just hallucinating as a result of her medication and prescribed her something else. This new medication affected her sleep cycle as she would now sleep through the day and awaken at night. Evelyn reports hearing little wooden footsteps and giggling in the house. She went to check on her children, but they were asleep. She then runs into Tamsin, who tells her she should stay in her room, but Evelyn then becomes suspicious of Tamsin. More strange things start happening. Evelyn noticed there was a stench coming from under the beds of her children, and to her horror, she found a load of decapitated animals underneath. She thinks that someone is trying to mess with her family. The following day, Evelyn discovers her children have a fever, likely similar to the one her husband had, and runs to grab a first aid kit. What she saw shocked her. Tamsin was sat in the middle of the room with the doll directly in front of her. Evelyn describes two symbols and that Tamsin was muttering something. Assuming that Tamsin is a witch, Evelyn attacked her and locked her in a room. The kids then miraculously started to feel better. She locked the doll away in her chest so no one could find it again. The day after, Evelyn wakes up after hearing whispering in her ear. She turns to find a faceless doll sat in front of her in a chair. She grabs an axe and attacks the doll. She starts to realise that the doll is the cause of all this. She goes back to sleep and then wakes up. Tamsin is stood over her children who have been killed. Tamsin freaks out, screaming at Evelyn that she killed the children and she has a look of pure hatred towards Evelyn on her face. Evelyn, of course, didn't believe Tamsin at all. She considered her responsible and also considered her a witch and as a result, hanged Tamsin in their backyard. Peter was able to escape after one of the maids named Meredith helped him get away. The maids then all resigned out of fear, which I guess you would, Evelyn, even though the house is still empty, is still hearing a demonic giggling. She decides to end her own life. She was doomed to live inside the manor, now trapped as an angry spirit. I guess back when she was alive, she was mad that Peter got away after she killed his mother, which explains why she is so crazy when she sees him. Well, it's safe to say that Evelyn got the wrong end of the stick, massively. What really happened is that Tamsin realised something was up with the doll, 
and that the doll was affecting the children's behaviour. Given that the manor had a library, it's possible that Tamsin had looked up on how to exercise a doll. She was executing her plan perfectly, but the irrational Evelyn came along and stopped it in its tracks. You see, the doll had a curse, a demonic spirit inside it. Not sure quite how it got in there, but the father unknowingly brought home a malicious demon. This demon caused Evelyn to become delusional and confused, so much so that she mistook her children for dolls and she axed them to death. Yep, Evelyn killed her own children. With the demon doll still on a rampage, Peter was dragged into all this. The doll tried to deceive Peter by claiming that the father's spirit was trapped inside it and to end the curse. Peter just needed to release the spirit from the doll. Of course, Peter obliged and this thing came out, Given that this doll had torn a family apart and had played a part in taking his mother from him, Peter destroyed the demon by stabbing and, I guess, sacrificing himself to end the curse. The final scene shows the children's spirits no longer being held there by the demon, but that they are allowed to leave and be free. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, a short game, just about an hour and a half. I'm disappointed that we don't know exactly why Peter ended up there again or how. It seems a massive coincidence that he was driving towards a manor where some really strange stuff happened whilst he was there as a kid. Either way, I quite enjoyed playing it, quite predictable in places, lots of cheap jump scares, but a fairly decent experience nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below with your thoughts, but for now, take care and I will see you in the next one.